Hi everyone, I'm Gina from Gina K Designs and your host of Stamp TV. Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a fun technique featuring the new Home for the Holidays Stamp TV kit. Let me show you the tools and products that you're going to need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some ink, and the inks that I'm going to use are the Gina K Designs Ink Cubes, and I'm going to use the Red Velvet, Jelly Bean Green, Turquoise Sea, and Christmas Pine. Then you're going to need some black ink, and I'm going to use the Versafine Black Onyx. I think it's called Onyx Black, actually. But it's a great ink for um, very detailed greetings and things like that. So I'm going to use this for that particular part of my project. Then you're going to need some acrylic blocks. And you can use, for this technique, you can use either a round block or a square block. But the bigger the block, the better it is for this technique. I'm also going to use a ruler, a pencil with an eraser, a sharpie, and then um, for die cutting, I'm going to use the silver circle stackers dies and the purple circle stackers dies. I also have some adhesive. I have some foam squares. And for stamps, I'm going to use two of the stamp sets from the new Home for the Holidays Stamp TV kit. I'm going to use the Christmas Greenery set, and I'm going to use Christmas Magic. I'm just going to use the greeting from Christmas Magic this week. Okay, so to begin, oh, I should show you the cardstock. I have a, an ivory heavy base weight card base. I have some ivory layering cardstock and some red velvet cardstock. So to begin, I'm going to draw a template on this piece of cardstock. Now I had originally seen a technique similar to this on Jennifer McGuire's blog or on her YouTube channel. And um, it's a fantastic tutorial she has that shows you how to do pattern stamping using the MISTI. And so I saw the template and I thought that I might adapt the template to work with an acrylic block. So I wanted to show that to you today. That is the technique. So you can create a pattern in a circular um, way using this little template and an acrylic block. So I will link Jennifer's video on my YouTube channel under my video so you can find that easily. Or if you go to Jennifer's uh, YouTube channel, you can type in her search bar pattern stamping and that video will come up. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to create a template right on my piece of cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my ruler and go corner to corner and I'm going to draw a line. Then I'm going to go corner to corner again and draw another line. Then I want to draw a straight line. So I'm going to use the top of the ruler just to make sure that it's straight, completely straight. Make sure that that is right at the top. And then I'm going to draw a line going down the center that way. And I'm going to draw a line going down the center this way. Okay, so now I have my template. This line could actually be moved over just a hair, so I'm gonna do that because that wasn't right in the center. So let me just do that right here down the center. There we go. Okay, so now I've created my template. Now, for my acrylic block, I wanna do something similar. I wanna create an X, but I want to leave a lot of the block available. So my X, using a Sharpie, is going to start down here. And then I'm going to do the same thing by laying it up against the side of the block here and creating another line. So now I have an X on my acrylic block too. Now when I stamp, what I'm going to do is line up my X with the right angles on each of these particular sections. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. 
So I'm going to start with this little pine sprig. And this one I'm going to place right about here. And then using my acrylic block and putting my lines right on those lines on this right angle, right here, I'm going to pick up that stamp. Okay. So now I'm going to ink up the stamp using Christmas Pine ink. And then I'm going to stamp it using that right angle, like that. Then I'm going to turn it a little bit and find the next right angle and do the same thing. And I'm going to keep going around till I've created a circular image of this design. And this is my first image for my little wreath that I'm creating. Okay, so now you can see that goes all the way around. Now my next image that I'm going to use is going to be the holly leaf. And that one is right here. And that one I'm going to place right about here. And then I'm going to pick that image up. I'm going to stamp that one using Jelly Bean Green. I'm going to ink that up real well and line it up and stamp. Same thing here, just continuing to go around in that circular motion. This is really quite fun to do, and it's very relaxing. All right. Now I want to add a couple of berries onto that wreath. So I'm going to grab the three little berries and line those up where I want them. And I'm going to use the red, oh, I have ink all over me. I'm going to use the red velvet ink. So I have to pick that stamp up again. And then ink it up and stamp. You can see how fun and easy this is. And I do rock the stamp just a little bit, not enough to make it blurry, but because it's a small stamp on a large block, all I do is press straight down and then I just wiggle just a tiny bit to make sure that the entire image transfers. Okay. And then my final stamp for this little project is going to be this little flower or snowflake. I'll put that one right there. Pick it up. And this one I'm going to stamp using some turquoise sea ink. So I'll ink that up. I think I may have picked up Blue Lagoon. Oh, I did. Okay. Well, that certainly looks pretty too. Just a little bit darker than our turquoise sea. I'll show you in my sample what the turquoise sea looks like, and then you can pick which one you like better. I actually like this one too a lot. Such a fun, bright, vibrant 
turquoise. Okay, so now I have completed my little wreath pattern. Now I'm going to give that a minute to sit and I'm going to grab the circle that I pre-cut using the silver circle stackers die. And I'm going to grab my greeting from Christmas Magic. I'm going to use May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. Put that on a different block and ink that up using some of the VersaFine ink. And that will get stamped onto this little circle. There we go. And then this is going to get attached. Wait a minute, where is it here? Okay. This is going to get attached to this red one that I cut out using the purple stackers die, the circle stackers. So I'm going to adhere those two together. And now I think this is plenty dry enough. I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to get rid of all of those pencil lines. You can see that the light pencil lines do not affect the stamped images at all. And then we'll just get rid of all that. I'm going to use my sweater to get rid of all those lines. Looks like I did a little smudge here. So I have my Tombow uh, Mono Sand Eraser. I'm just going to erase that off there and get rid of that. Okay. So now my next step is to adhere this panel onto a panel of red velvet. And then this whole panel is going to go onto my ivory card base. I have that cute little wreath. And then I'm going to add my greeting on using these little square foam squares. And I'll just put three on, that's plenty. And that is going to go right into the center here. And so that is my finished card project. Now here is the same card that I used the turquoise sea ink. So you can see the difference here. The turquoise sea is a lighter ink and this is a deeper ink. So it just depends on which one you like. So those are two versions of this same wreath. Now I did another wreath. And this one I did on a smaller piece of cardstock, and you can see the difference here. I mounted this one onto Christmas pine ink and stamped my greeting in Christmas pine. And I used this little berry sprig instead of the holly. So that one's a little bit of a smaller wreath, but the same basic concept. And then here I did a really busy wreath. This one I used all kinds of images from the set. And then instead of popping up the greeting, I cut a hole in the center once I was all done and stamped the greeting inside the center on another piece of ivory cardstock and popped the uh, ivory panel up on foam square so the greeting is recessed. So that's another version. The colors here are also red velvet, turquoise sea, and Christmas pine. And you can see I really went crazy with all the images, but this one's kind of fun too. So it just depends on what style you like, but that is, this one, <laughs> is my finished card project.
I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV video. Stay tuned to Stamp TV for more projects featuring the new Home for the Holidays Stamp TV kit. And thanks so much for watching.